All right, in this video, we are going to uh, cover free camp in the areas of where we create a task or assign task, assign due dates, uh, update the task, and then close a task. So here we are looking at right now um, a property who has tasks that are um, been worked on. It is right now on the default search where it is showing the completed task first. Um, so what we can do here is we can always create a filtration with these boxes that are up here. So first what we'll do is we'll set the order and what we'll do is we'll create a date created from today to oldest. So what we're seeing here will be is that anything that was created today all the way to the end which will be the oldest one. Okay, That's one setting. The next setting we'll do is filter. The filter what we're going to here we're going to do is we're going to create a priority. Um, sorry, not priority, progress where we have no progress and in progress set okay with this here if we click now we have now what we're seeing is we're seeing every single task that has been created from today to the oldest that is in progress or no progress so right now you see here this is what something that created uh, recently uh, February 21st no sorry not February 21st this was in progress to reach uh, December 20 uh, sorry February 21st was a due date but it's created the most recent so if I click open this one then I'm gonna see that this was created um, by Chris um, da -da 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 -da, where have we got it here created on February 11th by Chris okay so that's good now if you uh, want we can also hit save search and this one where we can give us uh, a title of um, um, filter uh, task on uh, creation creation and status okay and we save the search so now when we save the search this search will come out over here on the side you'll see over here on the um, right corner you have the assigned to due date priority progress save searches and yeah, there's there's your search right there so if I come here and I close out this search it's going to go back to um, it should go back to what is normal there you go and I can whenever I'm opening up this is what you're seeing all the time you can always come over here and click on the save searches and you can hear filter task on creation status you can name them anything you want but we named it this one and when I click on this one it's going to put the search into effect all right so to create a task all we have to do is click on add task right here up there on top right corner uh, with the green button add task or if, if, as you're scrolling down to your list uh, also down here below you have option to add task okay let's go back up all right so we'll add a task and say for example the added task was um, you know this 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 is a test so we'll put down test um, tasks okay and then in the description we put here test testing tasks um, please confirm okay all right confirm so once you do that we have assigned to so then this one where we click over here we can assign it to whoever is located on that property so like for this one this Cabo one you have uh, Dr. Verma, Ashley, Diana the supervisor, Chris the head supervisor, Mo is on me uh, there, Neil will be there uh, Nick Patel which is also one of the supervisors for there, Rosie and Teresa the manager himself so we can say okay we're going to assign it to Rosie um, and then priority we can put it as high, medium, low uh, so we put medium we can also choose a two days say okay I want you to task I want you to you know by Saturday uh, we want to know if this is uh, done and then we want to notify users we can hit who we want to notify uh, and this will send an email to that user okay uh, and I'll add a milestone uh, will be the like, like how, you know they have a certain time frame they, they have to complete this in all right and we can hit save which will save this task or save add another which will you can open another window with the new task so if I hit save all right let's get this thing to refresh a little bit real quick All right, and now the task that we just created is on top. Okay, and you can see here it's medium, rosy, and due date. So now let's say, for example, um, the task is not medium no more, it's high. So we can click on X and get rid of medium, and we come over here to the right where it says priority, right? We can click on high tag, and we can drag it over to that task. Now that task will become high. 
If you don't want to put it to Rosie, we can remove Rosie from here and up here on top where he says assign to drag to assign. You can choose anybody else's name and pick it up over here and pop it there. And now this is assigned to Nick. Uh, same thing with the due date. We can click on the due date and remove it. And then we can come over here and see the due date. We can choose a new due date, say for example the 12th. And then we can click that here and drag it here and do it. Um, we have here the checkbox which is showing grayed out which means that it hasn't been started. If we click on it, yellow, it'll become that it's becoming in progress. Uh, if we click on it one more time, it's green, it scratches out meaning it has been completed. Okay. Uh, so right now for now, this is not an actual task, we'll just delete it out of the way so it doesn't um, disrupt the business on the property. And that is how we create the task, assign tasks to somebody, do dates to somebody, change the status of tasks within, without going into the physical task and complete them. All right, this is Mo signing off. If you have any questions, you do know my email address is mo at novaassetmanagement.net or my phone number here at the main office, extension is 117. Uh, best way to reach me is usually email. Um, if you have any questions, do feel free to give me a heads up. Thanks. Have a nice day.